Hello, everyone on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, check me out. It's uh, Mr. Rice, aka Steven Ah, doing the Q&A for the 100 subscribers special. We're gonna look at a couple questions here and see what we can answer and uh, have a little bit of fun with that in a little bit. I, I got some weird ones here and I got some pretty normal ones. So let's start off with some uh, normal ones here. Are you named after anyone? So my mom really liked watching action movies back when she was in her younger years. So when she had me, she's like, oh man, I, I gotta look up a really cool name. And she watched a lot of Steven Seagal. So I, I, <laughs> I got that anvil over there. So Steven, Steven Seagal, if you watch him, pretty cool Aikido guy. And yeah, it's pretty nice stuff. Uh, where did I grow up? So I was originally born in St. Paul, but I moved over to Shoreview like my preschool years. And it was a it was a pretty big change. I still remember the old house. It was like a where I met my godparents, and we had a really good relationship with them. And and you know they're still awesome. They're still rocking, and it's been pretty awesome. Uh, what is okay? This one's a little weird. What is your best physical feature? Definitely my collarbone. My collarbone. Oh man, when I when I work out, like when I get really sweaty, that thing just like pops out. Like you know, like sweat. It really gets you like nice and wet. You know, when you got that collarbone action, it feels like, oh man, I, I'm working towards something here. What is my favorite color? Green. Green as in money, green as in my favorite night elf color. I used to play Warcraft 3 back when I was a kid, and I thought, man, green on night elf looks so good. So that's another reason why green is my favorite color. Uh, what, what is your favorite physical activity? Favorite physical activity? Uh, is eating considered a physical activity? I mean, you're doing it with your mouth, you're doing it with your hands, you're eating, that's physical, and you're putting it in your mouth, that's physical, it's not mental. It has to be eating then. Physical activity, that's my favorite one. What is my biggest fear? Oh boy, I don't know where this nightmare came from, but back when I was a kid, maybe in preschool, I had this nightmare about my kneecap. And on my kneecap, there was like a broken hole. I think it's because I fell. When I fell, I scraped my knee, and then the day after or two days afterwards, back when I was in preschool, so like four or five, I had a nightmare that when I fell, my knee cracked open and it was hollow inside, and bees started coming out. And so I developed uh, several fears. I developed a fear of needles and I developed a fear of small holes or anything that looks like really hivy. Smallpox, more like no pox, you know, I, I can't, can't deal with those. It, it, small holes, too much, too much. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> what is the most important thing in your life? Food, definitely. I mean, you can love, you know, you can feel content and you can make a lot of money and feel content, but if you don't have food, you die. So I think that <laughs> precedes everything else that I said beforehand. All those are pretty nice. I mean, it's nice to have like an extra $500 in your pocket. It's nice to have some extra love in your pocket. You know, like if you have like a lot of friends or a lot of that, but like you can't eat your friends. I, I mean, you can, but that's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's, uh, <laughs> who did you look up to growing up? So I listened to a lot of Eminem when I was growing up, especially uh, like a couple of his pop songs got me into him. So Not Afraid, Love the Way You Lie. And then I started looking up his albums and his tracks and it was really, you know, really cool journeys. And it was just like his wordplay and working off all these different negative emotions that you may not necessarily talk about, especially how explicit he is. It's really upfront and out there. And, he, and he's one of my inspirations today. It's, there's other people that are out there, there's other rappers, but he comes out as the most prominent. And I remember in middle school rapping Not Afraid in Chipwood. It was, it was kind of cringe, but it was pretty awesome doing it and having a, an audience. It, it was a lot of motivation to continue pressing forward. And that's who you see today. Oh, one more question about how I got my rapper name. So the Mr. Rice, I thought about it in middle school. I'm like, man, I want my name to be something cool, something fancy. And I lived over in these townhomes. It was called uh, Meadowlands. And it was in Gramsci Court. I'm like, oh man, that's a nice like street name, but that's not a street name. You know what I'm saying? And so I looked over and I'm like, man, uh, there's so many other names that I could come out there. And then I thought like, wait, I live right next to Rice Street. Rice Street? Mr. Rice, then you know where I'm from. And then it kind of, 
fell from there. It was initially mr.rice, but there were so many Mr. Rices out here, so it was pretty difficult to do, and I said, you know what? All right, we're gonna make sure that nobody else gets it. And so I just had the M-I-S-T-R-R-I-C-E. And you know, it's my own thing. It's the street that I live right next to, and that's where I got the name. Not an Asian thing. It it definitely, <laughs> that's the first thing everybody thinks about. And you know, I just want to clarify that. That's exactly where I got the name. Is hot dog a sandwich? Why or why not? Yeah, it's a sandwich. I mean, it's not, a, a hot dog is like an inverted sub sandwich. Yeah, kind of. No, you got two buns on the side, it's connected. I do some really bad cutting on my buns when it comes to hamburgers. It's still a hamburger. Even if it's like halfway cut correctly, it's still a hamburger. And a hot dog is definitely a sandwich. How do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? That's a good question. Uh, never tried it, never will. I'm very conservative on this matter. I, no, it's not working. Toilet paper over or under? I do it over because when you do it under, I just feel like there's, it's, it's harder to reach. So like if you have the toilet paper roll right here and you have it over and you know, you're sitting on the toilet, you're reaching out to get it right here. However, however, if you had it under, then you had to go behind the toilet roll in order to get it to work. And it looks like it's rolling off the other way. It always goes over. It just looks better that way. It's like, I want to show you my front stuff, not my back stuff, all right? I, I respect you like that. So the toilet paper is going to show me the front, not the back. I respect like that. Where is the strangest place you've urinated or defecated? The weirdest place I've urinated. It was probably down in Minneapolis back when I was a preschooler or an elementary school student. My uh, stepdad used to work over at this uh, restaurant. And so when we would wait for him uh, inside the car, like we had to go to the restroom, we would just, you know, find a wall. And just do it there. That's, that's my story with that. What is the weirdest thing you have seen in someone else's home? Oh, that's a good question. What is the weirdest thing you have seen in someone else's home? Pineapple on pizza? I think that's why I, I don't do pineapple on pizza. I think that's the weirdest thing I've seen. If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Well, it has to have peanut in it. Peanut, peanut Vaseline. Well, I mean, if you like it creamy, then it's kind of lotion, right? So like peanut lotion or peanut Vaseline. Uh, I like mine thick. Other people like it smooth, but when it comes to thick, it'd probably be peanut Vaseline. Just like to emphasize how thick it is. Or uh, peanut lube, I guess. Okay, one more. What would be the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? To a horse? It's not a pony, it's a horse. Probably my brother. Yeah, it would be my brother. I mean, if he was that size, it'd be cool. I could brag about it with my friends and like family photos would probably be pretty awesome too. If he was the size of a horse. Now, if we're thinking like size of the horse on its hind legs, that's really tall. That's like seven, that's like seven, eight foot. If I had an eight foot brother, I mean, of course I'd be shorter, but then I have like, you know, I have a bodyguard. And I mean, like he's my, he's my younger brother right now. So I kind of like tell him what to do. So I mean, I'd have like a seven foot, essentially bodyguard. And I'd appreciate that. That'd be really nice. So uh, <laughs> this has been the end of the q and I hope you guys learned something new about me. And uh, just keep on listening to music. We're releasing a new track out next Friday on the, on the 18th. So stay tuned. I'll put a couple drops inside of, for next week. I'll put some extra hints over there in the next couple days. And I'll keep guys posted on the video update. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend with everything coming up. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, stay frosty. And stay cool. And don't have pineapple on pizza. Thank you.